Dear fifth semester mechanical engineering stream students, I welcome you all into my channel Motion Daily Protein. Hope you are all doing well. Today I am with uh, the important questions of your first subject of your fifth semester that is industrial management and entrepreneurship. This is the theoretical uh, subject. You can easily grab uh, more than 80 marks in this particular subject if you cover this much whatever I will discuss later on in this particular video. And for theoretical subjects you should uh, keep with one thing in mind. Just try to fill a more number of pages in the examination. Okay. So as much as possible try to fill the paper try to cover more than 30 pages for theoretical uh, subjects right so let me discuss over here the passing package for this particular subject that is vme501 this is its subject code so let us discuss here passing package pa passing package means what so if you just to go through three models fully and taking important questions from rest of the two models that is also a way to pass the subject but if you want to score then you should surely go for all the modules by taking these important questions whatever i will discuss over here so let us discuss here module wise important question so first second and third module are the passing which are very easier ones and these questions which is frequently asking right uh, so actually your three modules are similar to the subject of 18 scheme that is economics and management if you want to refer the papers also you can go through that uh, management and economics uh, subject right so rest of the two modules are different so which i will discuss later on right so in the model first uh, we have here the question define management explain its nature characteristics and scope list and explain the functional areas of management this may be the 10 marks question next we have again 10 marks question that how is management considered as as a science and art and a profession discuss in detail next we have differentiate between management and administration explain the roles of management and levels of management in an organization right next from the planning part that is uh, define planning and explain its nature importance and purpose in management fifth question we are having here that is discuss the steps involved in the planning process with suitable examples and explain the hierarchy of plans or simply they will ask you the steps of uh, plans over there and how it helps in organizational decision making and uh, sometimes they will ask you explain the concept of decision making in planning okay so these are the uh, two types uh, which we will ask over there define planning premises and state their importance so these seven questions you should surely cover from module first in order to get uh, more than 15 to 16 marks out of 20. next we have here model 2 let us discuss here that is uh, define organizing and explain its nature and purpose discuss the principles of organization with suitable examples and again a super important one that is explain the various types of organizational structures with their advantage and disadvantages and compare and contrast centralization and decentralization of authority and responsibility with examples from the staffing part that is uh, define staffing explain the nature and importance of staffing in management and briefly explain the process of selection and recruitment in organization let me tell you one thing over here you don't need to memorize all the concepts you can also refer chat gpt for your preference try to remember the key points only okay and try to understand them in your own convenient language so that you can write in your own words as far as examinations are concerned right next we have defined directing explain its meaning and nature with uh, examples and last three questions we are having uh, sorry four questions discuss different leadership styles and their impact on organizational performance define communication explain its meaning importance and barriers to effective communication and what is coordination explain the concept of controlling and the steps involved in the controlling process and discuss the essentials of a sound control system with examples so these are the nine questions which it will ask in the examination out of these nine only they will ask you some four to five questions next is model third define an entrepreneur discuss the evolution of the concept and explain the key functions of an entrepreneur and uh, next 10 marks may be what are the different types of entrepreneurs each uh, explain each type with examples and explain the role of entrepreneurs in economic development with examples and compare and contrast the traditional and modern views of entrepreneurship next we have uh, define entrepreneurship explain its evolution and development over time and what are the stages in the entrepreneur process explain with examples and last two questions discuss the barriers to entrepreneurship and suggest measures to overcome them and explain the role of entrepreneurship in india's develop economic development so these three modules are the passing if somebody wants to only cover three models that they have to go for these important questions and similarly if somebody wants to score they have to go for another 
two models right that is model 4 and model 5 so model 4 we have here defined small scale industries explain their characteristics objectives and scope and discuss the role of small scale industries in economic development with suitable examples what are the advantages of SSI right explain their significance in the Indian economy describe the steps involved in starting a small scale industry and also discuss the government policy and government policy and various initiatives towards promoting SSI right next we have explained the impact of liberalization privatization and globalization on SSI and uh, discuss the government support provided to SSI during various five-year plans and last two questions we have here write a detailed note on the supporting agencies for SSI their objectives and the nature of their support and explain the concepts of uh, ancillary industries and tiny industries highlighting their role in economic development so coming to the model fifth we also have here uh, eight to nine questions that is explain the various institutional support schemes available for entrepreneurs in India and discuss the roles and functions of TECK SOK KIADP and KSSIDC in supporting small scale industries explain the role of SIDBI and uh, KSFC in providing financial support to small and medium enterprises what is the single window agency how does it assist entrepreneurs in starting their ventures and discuss the objectives and functions of NSIC and SISI and DIC in promoting entrepreneurship define a project and explain the steps involved in project identification and selection and discuss the need and significance of a project report explain its contents and guidelines provided by the planning commission and explain the concept of network analysis in project planning and management this is super important one and last question from this particular module is what are the common errors in project reports how can be avoided so why i have taken nine questions from model fifth as these two models are different from that particular subject of 18 scheme that is management and economics so they have newly added uh, these two modules right so we cannot predict that is why we have taken more number of questions surely we will ask the questions from this much area only right so make sure you will refer these important questions in order to get more than 80 to 90 marks in this particular semester. this is the scoring subject right from the fifth semester itself you can boost your CGP that is also very essential as far as placements are concerned I wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you Thank you.